Hi there. Human beings are sports enthusiasts. We often see athletes taking part in different types of races. All the athletes are always full of energy and excited to win the race. Did you know we all have won one race very early in our lives? Yes. Out of the 20 to 40 million sperms which enter the female body, only one reaches the ovum and wins the race of life. The sperm that wins the race fuses with the ovum present in the fallopian tube. This process of fusion of sperm and ovum is called fertilization. The sperm head enters the ovum and fusion of the two nuclei takes place which results in the formation of a zygote. Did you notice the fusion of the two gametes took place inside the female body? Hence, it is called internal fertilization. Fertilization can also take place outside the female body. But how? Let's have a look at these animals. In the rainy season, the frogs and toads move to small water bodies. When the male and female come together, the female releases hundreds of eggs in the water. What peculiarity do you notice in these eggs? Yes, they do not have a tough outer covering like a shell which we often see in a chicken's egg. Instead, they have a jelly-like fluid which covers the cluster of the eggs and keeps them together, thus protecting it from external factors like the movement of water or rainfall to name a few. The male deposits sperms which swim in the water and come in contact with the eggs. This results in a fusion of gametes which we call fertilization. Here as we saw, the fertilization of the eggs took place outside the body of the female. Such type of fertilization is called external fertilization. This is how we all were born after winning the race of life. That's all for today. See you next time.